Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara and today I am doing my perfume collection and I am so excited because I have such a huge love for perfumes. I have expanded my collection a lot recently in like the past year and a half. I've just been collecting a ton of different ones and just, I don't know, I feel like it's a really mature thing to be into. So yeah, I thought that's what I would do today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Leave me any kind of comment down below and let's get into it. So as I'm starting this, I have my computer with all the notes and stuff that you will find in each perfume and I was reading through them and I don't think I can pronounce a majority of them so if something I think is like important in the notes I will say that but otherwise I'll just leave the notes down below because I don't want to mispronounce like a ton of things and just you know seem stupid and annoying so first I want to talk about my favorite perfume of all time this is almost gone this is the C perfume by Giorgio Armani my boyfriend got this for me for Valentine's Day last year so I've had this like a year and a month and I love it it's my favorite it's my favorite perfume by far I get the most compliments when I wear this one I get so many comments like what is that what are you wearing it smells great and I'm just like you need it in your life it's C by Giorgio Armani okay now for the notes of this one the first one is shipri shipri I don't know black currant black currant nectar uh, airy florals and musky blonde wood <laughs> so already we know how this notes thing is gonna go with me but I just think it smells so like it's so hard to describe it sucks okay it just smells so mature and like sweet but not like too sweet and it's just such a nice scent I seriously love it so much I don't know how else to explain it but I do know that once I run out of this I will go out and repurchase it that's how much I love it and I can't say the same for all my perfumes just because I want to switch it up and try new things but this one I think I will definitely always go back to and that first one was in a order, a particular order, but then for the rest of these, I'm just going to randomly like pick one up and talk about it. So this is the Dot by Marc Jacobs perfume. It's just a little spray guy like this. This was like one of the first fancy perfumes I've ever bought. In. I think I got this for Christmas like two years ago. So I've had this a while and I really like it. I love the smell of it again I, I suck at describing smells but let's check out the notes for this one all right so the top notes for this one you know <laughs> I don't think I can pronounce most of these I will leave everything down below but most importantly this says it incorporates red berries with a patea fruit which is also dragon fruit um, so yeah it just smells very fruity very girly, very nice. I really like it. I love Marc Jacobs perfumes. I think a lot of people do. So um, this is definitely a good one. If you've only smelled like Daisy or Daisy Dream, definitely check out Dot. It's awesome. This is a new recent purchase. This is the Stella by Stella McCartney Eau de Parfum. Um, this one has notes of rose, peony, flower, mandarin, rose absolute, and amber. And it just smells very rosy very nice I love this one um, yeah I, I'm really I'm really satisfied with this one I just went into Sephora one day and smelt this and I was like yep that one's coming home with me it's just very rosy very girly and I love it a lot of these perfumes that's exactly what I'm gonna say about them but sorry these are great um, I've already made a bit of a dent if you can see right there the packaging of this is freaking beautiful and yeah, it is a spray, not a roll-on bottle, in case you're wondering. Next, I have the Daisy Dream, and then these two are a little different. This is the Sweet Dream, and this is the Daydream Roller Balls. Um, I'm pretty sure they're very similar, so I'm not going to look up the extra notes on these ones. So this one right here, I love it. I think it smells so good. I'm also like making my way through the bottle, but it smells so, so good. I'm going to continue to smell these and just be so happy about how how they smell. Um, so this one has blackberry, grapefruit, pear, jasmine, lychee, blue wisteria, white woods, musk, and coconut water. So again, 
a lot of kind of fruity flavors as well as coconut water and musk. I mean, just like the array, <laughs> the groups of smells that come in with this is just awesome. I love it. Definitely check out this one. It's Daisy Dream. I'm sure you've smelled it before, but yeah, really, really love this one. This is another recent purchase. I actually think, yeah, I got this for Valentine's Day from my boyfriend this year. So this is the Flora by Gucci and it is a Eau de Toilette. <laughs> and this one just smells very florally. Um, the name of it is literally Flora. It came in a beautiful little like floral box and I just really like this one. I think it smells awesome. Um, the packaging is so sleek and nice. I love it. And yeah, I, I really like this one. So the notes of this one are probably just a ton of different floral things. <laughs> so I'm not going to look it up, but it will be in the down bar for you to see. Next, this is so old. I think this might actually be time to pass this along, but I have had a version of the Britney Spears perfume, which is this one. I think this is called, yeah, Fantasy. I had like a little pink one growing up, and now I have this. Um, my sister got this for me, I think, two years ago, and Fantasy, it smells awesome. I, that's the first one I've actually like sprayed. I just don't know if it's like bad or old, but it smells really good. So this is Fantasy, and then this half, is Midnight Fantasy. So it just comes in like this. Um, it's a very nice like immature kind of little girl scent. I've had this since I was in like sixth grade so this smell just holds a lot um, of value in my heart for that reason. But yeah, I really like it. I just don't think I'll repurchase it anytime soon, but I, I'll probably purchase it again, let's be real. Uh, so yeah, that is that one. I think the packaging of this is so cute too. I don't know. I think it's just very cute. Okay. Now we're getting into some Victoria's Secret ones. So this is the Bombshell Body Mist, and I thought I would include this just because it is something I wear. I do like it, and yeah, this one also smells very nice. Um, I'm sure you've smelled a ton of the Victoria's Secrets. Uh, perfumes. But yeah, I really like this one. I don't know if the notes of this are online. I'm not gonna look it up because I'm just feeling a little lazy now and I got some of it in my mouth. <laughs> but check it out. I will leave it down below if I found anything. We have two left and the first one I'm going to talk about is Pure by DKNY. Um, I got this for my birthday. I like it. It smells nice. I obviously have not worked through it at all um, just because I have a lot that I like a lot more. But this is a very nice perfume. I will say that. It's not like it's just in the back burner because I don't care about it. But yeah, there's that one for you. And lastly, this is another perfume that I've repurchased like multiple bottles of. This is Hello Darling by Victoria's Secret. Um, I'm sure, again, you've smelt the body mist there, but this one has white nectarine and peony and it just smells great I don't know I really love this one it's very easy to wear very spring friendly for getting into the spring weather and I'm just really a fan of this one as well that's why I own it so that is it for my perfume collection video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope I was somewhat informative and helpful in this um, if not I'm sorry better luck next time I suppose and just leave me any kind of comment down below I would love to hear from you guys give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video bye everyone